Right, absolutely. And uh, also, uh, you know, Mahima is saying a lot of politics has gotten, you know, entwined into Bollywood. And we've seen over the last couple of years, for some reason, at least uh, Bollywood has been targeted time and again on social media. It's the Mumbai film industry been targeted again and certain individuals also targeted uh, by, uh, by various people on social media. And sometimes even, you know, uh, you have uh, personalities like the Home Minister of Madhya Pradesh who's become, I think, uh, a censored entity all to himself who's constantly making statements statements and, uh, you know, calling out certain uh, films and certain series. Good evening, Gargi. Good evening, all. Jo bharkai thi usne nafrat ho se, wo jumlo se bujhana chahata hai. Those are the lines I want to begin with. Because we are talking about a person who himself has been an ambassador of hate speech. You know, uh, he is the same person who once said, Goli maro salonko. And that's what the BJP is all about, hypocrisy. You see, they do not walk the top, uh, talk. And I agree with the first panelist that uh, spoke. I, I believe Savir Sahab uh, spoke first. And, you know, he rightly said that this should have come well in time. It is coming too late in the day, Gargi. You know, when hate speech has happened, when too much water has gone down the Ganges. You okay. see, this kind of boycott trend, which this country had never seen, Bollywood has been close to the people, uh, the hearts of the people of this country ever since. But the boycott trends that started since Padmavat resonate with the culture that the BJP and the RSS represent. And that's what it is about. It is not that the Prime Minister or the Information and Broadcasting Minister could not have uh, tweeted, you know, a simple tweet in this era of, uh, uh, of internet. We do not believe, we cannot believe that they could not have sent out a message when it was all at its peak. Now when the film has seen a record opening and you come out and you, uh, you know, uh, uh, you spill your uh, culture, you know, like uh, the hypocrisy that they reek off, it, it is uh, explicit now because uh, it's all happened, it's all uh, uh, done and, you know, it, it's all over now. Now they're coming and saying this. Padmavat, you would re recollect the kind of hate mongering that had happened over that and the dharm sansads that this country country is seeing and the uh, you know the the uh, communalism the extremism you are seeing during the festivals nowadays dandiya we remember the last year uh, we remember during the uh, the navratri is the kind of uh, uh, polarization that had happened that is exactly uh, where it is going it is not about i would disagree with the uh, film trade analyst on this point because he said that you know it uh, it is uh, not creating a huge impact on the films all right maybe so but i think we are looking at a larger picture now the cricket and the film are larger senti uh, sentiments in this country larger than life so the bjp has a lot to answer coming down now and believing that uh, the the citizens of this country are um, so naive so immature that they will not understand what is going on is i think uh, no, so uh, living saying, in you're saying that anurag thakur has made this statement now after uh, after pathan has been such a huge success Absolutely, absolutely. It's it's see it's been seen. You see, the strangulating by of the of the films, uh, the way they have done. See, we have set an international uh, narrative by the censorship we have put on a BBC documentary. And I'm sorry to say that it's doing more disservice to the BJP than it is doing good service. In fact, you know, this kind of uh, commenting on the films also, this kind of uh, hate culture that they are rearing is also doing good to the films, but it's doing, uh, uh, you know, the larger harm to the culture of this country, to the solidarity, to, to the unity of the citizenry of this country.